What I'm passionate about is describing and measuring the consequences of our decisions. In business schools, we always look at the profits that companies make if they launch a product or a competitor enters. Um, human resources manager may be thinking about how many days of vacation to give to the employees. Uh, or, uh, or in marketing, we may be looking at consumers and how often they buy this, they make purchases or dine out or how many concerts they attend over the year. Um, what I'm interested is in uh, the details on how those consequences feel to the decision makers uh, based on, on, on other factors. For instance, one factor that's been shown to be very important is reference points. Like the income somebody may be getting uh, can be felt very differently if, let's say, it's r compared to the relative employer, compared to other people, compared to expectations. Uh, a bonus can can mm, be felt, somebody can be unhappy about the bonus if it's lower than what he expected, and very happy if that same amount is unexpected. When it comes to, to consumption, uh, another factor that's important is, is association or saturation. Uh, if you have been dining out uh, already recently, then you, you are less likely to, to dine out again. It just uh, will not, not be, will be as enjoyable as if you just wait a little bit and then go out again a couple of weeks later. Uh, another factor that makes a difference in, in how consequences are felt is anticipation. For instance, when we book a, a vacation, uh, part of the, the the value that we get from it is the anticipation we obtain uh, before the vacation time, just looking forward to it. And many people would actually not want to go to vacation uh, right away if they didn't expect to go because it will take out all this anticipation time. So the value of the vacation actually includes the anticipatory uh, feeling. So why is it important to care about these feelings? Well, first of all, to understand ourselves better. So how uh, are we going to feel about the consequences and at the end of the day what are our objectives and what I should care about. And secondly, when we deal with other people, uh, we may be surprised if we just look at things objectively because people may not respond the way we would, would have expected. Whereas if we include these other factors, maybe companies can then decide what's the optimal time to announce an event so that people will be able to anticipate that event or even pay more to go to the event. Uh, they may also be looking at timings of, for instance, a company to make a, a rebate offer. You don't, don't want to do that offer right away because the, stu the consumer may be saturated. But if you just wait a little bit more, they may then be already willing to repeat the experience later. So it, it can then improve the way we interact with people and make them offers that are more valuable because they'll feel better about it.